Uh, as we see in this documentary, when we talk about climate change and security issues, one of the main things that that can lead to is refugees. Huge amounts of people, as we already have, literally on the run. How does that lead to a security issue, though? What happens is a combination of impacts of climate change on issues like food security, water security, uh, their livelihood security, and many other factors will displace a large number of people. A major factor is come, going to come from the rising sea level, for example. Uh, take the case of Bangladesh, for example, a most vulnerable country in the face of the climate change challenges. According to the IPCC's report... And every year Bangladesh floods. Every, every year, year, yes. There's no surprise about it being a problem. That's right. And according to the IPCC's report, it says that a one meter sea level rise will take out 20% of Bangladesh's landmass. Bangladesh, given it's a small size with a large demographic size and a population, according to the country's strategy paper of Bangladesh, it will create a climate refugee population of something between 25 to 30 million people. Those are very large, massive numbers to work with. The world has never seen such large number of people being displaced and becoming climate refugees, and therefore, it will not only have security impacts on the country, it can destabilize the region and have serious consequences for the international security system. Okay, because borders have been breached, I suppose, governments become overwhelmed That's as well, right. and it creates tensions in regions. It creates tension, it creates social tensions, there are spillover impacts according, uh, due to the climate change refugees moving to other countries. So it has serious regional implications security. Okay. General Jenny, it was you in the documentary that said we're going to see refugee problems on unimaginable uh, proportions. Um, what we have to do, therefore, then, I suppose, is, is, is get governments to look at security in the area and try and stop the wars that people are fleeing from, as well as tackle the climate change. But not only have we got a climate change as a problem, we've got an awful lot of wars being fought at the moment. You know, it's a, it's a complex mm. problem, Chris, and you, we know there's going to be huge migration in the Sahel of Africa, for instance, with uh, temperature ranges between maybe as much as 55 to 60 degrees centigrade, it will become uninhabitable. So he talks 25 to 30 million, we talk 100 to 200 or 300 million. We we're going to have to leave those lands and go somewhere. If you think you have a migration crisis now in Europe, wait till you see what happens in 20 to 30 years now coming out of Africa then.